Election Denier Carrie Lake sues Arizona elections officials. After 25 years of wrongful imprisonment, two Georgia men set free after newly uncovered evidence exonerates them of murder charges. By Emma Tucker, CNN. After spending 25 years in prison on murder convictions related to the 1996 shooting death of their friend, two Georgia men were exonerated this week after new evidence uncovered in a true crime podcast last year proved their innocence, their lawyers said. Daryl Lee Clark and his co-defendant Kane Joshua Story were 17 years old when they were arrested for their alleged involvement in the death of 15-year-old Brian Bowling. He died from a gunshot wound to the head in his family's mobile home on October 18, 1996, according to Clark's lawyers, Christina Cribbs and Megan Hurley, with the non-profit Georgia Innocence Project. Moments before the gun was fired, Bowling was on the phone with his girlfriend and told her he was playing a game of Russian roulette with a gun which was brought to his home by Story, who was in the room at the time of the shooting, according to a news release from the Georgia Innocence Project. Story was charged with involuntary manslaughter, but months later, police began investigating the death as a homicide, and interviewed two witnesses whose statements led authorities to tie Clark to Bowling's death, the Georgia Innocence Project said. Despite the circumstances, which strongly indicated that Bowling accidentally shot himself in the head, at the urging of Bowling's family members, police later began investigating the death as a homicide, according to a motion filed by Clark's attorneys, requesting a new trial. The two teenagers were sentenced to life in prison after being convicted of murder and conspiracy to commit murder, following a week-long trial in 1998. Clark's exoneration came a year and a half after investigative podcasters Susan Simpson and Jacinda Davis began scrutinizing his case in their Proof True Crime podcast in 2021 and interviewed two of the state's key witnesses. Through their investigation, new evidence emerged which shattered the state's theory of Clark's involvement in Bowling's death and the podcasters flagged his case to the Georgia Innocence Project, according to its news release. Based on her testimony, Story was charged with murder and Clark was arrested as a co-conspirator despite having a corroborated alibi, stating he was home on the night of the shooting, which was supported by two witnesses, according to Clark's motion for a new trial but the woman revealed in the podcast. Police coerced her into giving false statements and threatened to take her children away from her if she failed to comply, according to the Georgia Innocence Project.